Hello everybody and welcome back to a brand new Godot t tutorial. In today's tutorial I'm going to be going over the animation player and basically how to use it. So let me show you what we have going on right now. So first we enter and we have zero animation. As you can see our tank looks pretty bad just because there is no animation in it. But we are going to change that and make it look like it is kind of shaking as is a tank would. If it was running, maybe not a tank, but you get the point. It's going to kind of shake, so we can have a little shaking as an animation. So, what we are going to want to do is we are going to want to go and we want to add a, or to my tank. So, because I am using a tank, but you can be using whatever you want. I'm going to add an animation player, and it's going to be like this like pink railroad kind of thing it looks like a film film sheet i guess you can call it so once you do add a animation player you can click on the animation player and then you can over here you have what animation you're on or uh, uh what it's doing like if you want it to play back default this doesn't really normally matter this just means like how smooth you want the things I'm not going to mess with this in this video. The speed, also, I'm probably not going to mess with in this video, but the speed just changes the speed of how the animation plays But on a playback, but I don't really think these are necessary for animation, but because it already does try and smooth it out, just so you know, it already does smooth it out. But what we're going to go and do is I'm going to pull this up, we can drag this up and this is the animation player if you click on this little animation button you're going to be able to make animation so i'm just going to click new and we'll name this uh tank i idling we'll just name this take idling there we go tank idling so we can have an idling tank now if we go up here, this is the timeline. So this is basically how long the animation is going to be. You can make it as long as you want or as short as you want. You, If you want to make it longer or shorter, you come over here to this little timer. You can click that and you can change it. I'll just make it like 1.2 seconds. And then we'll add time here. Now, whatever you're going to want to move is going to be the track. So if I want a track which my track is going to be a property track which is what most animation player is going to be using is an animation track what do you want to be animated I want the tanks main body to be animated right because that's what I want to shake do I want the whole tank to shake no not really I just want the body of the tank to shake so I'm just gonna click on tank main body and then what do we want? I'm going to go with a positioned 2D because I want it to shake in a position. So position at the very start. So however you want it, I say have it in its normal spot. So I want my exact starting position to be this spot. So it's always in this spot at the start. So if I go over and click on the tank's main body, which is what we are animating, it's going to... Our, we have the tank main body. It says it right here. It's a sprite. This is the tank main body. This is what we selected. If we go over here to the inspector, you're going to see a lot of these keys. All these keys are just going to put something down here. And I'll explain that here in just a second. So for position, 0, 0. That's how I wanted to start. If I click this little key, then down here, you're going to see a little dot, right? Now this dot whoops this dot if you click it it's going to say the position which is what we just marked in now you can go make these dots you can just make these dots and then enter in whatever you want but if I go back to the main tank and I move it however I want like let's say we can go with X positive 1 and then we can do Y positive 10 if we do that so it just moves back a tiny bit and then we Let's skip ahead exactly 0.2. Whoops, now I gotta reset it. But if I skip exactly ahead 0.2 and I put a 1x and I put a 
10 Y and I click the little keyframe boom so like now if we go down here this one says zero zero and if I click on the second keyframe it's gonna say a different thing and as you can see see that if you watch right here it's smooth it doesn't just jump automatically which that's pretty much the best part about the animation player so it's pretty easy to make smooth animations or I guess you can say smoother animations without having a thousand frames but you could probably make this an animation in a different software if you're making a pixel game but I'm glad that Godot does have this like just uh, like auto implemented into the system and very very simple to use so third frame or third position I want it to be at 0.4 because I'm going to skip ahead 0.2 every single time and at 0.4 we can set it back to normal so you could do that and see how that looks so if I set that back to normal and I click the little key button it's going to add a thing now if we skip ahead 2 so now we're at 0.6 um, we can let's say we can have X go the opposite way this time and we can just have Y go to 10 again um, and then we can keyframe that and then we can skip ahead to 0.2 more seconds we can go with like I don't know we can leave negative X and we can just make Y 0 and then we can keyframe and by the way, this is going to be looping. So that's as well. You have to keep that in mind. This is going to be a looping animation. If I skip ahead two more, we can go and add like positive one and a 10, I guess. And then if I keyframe that and I skip ahead. Whoops, 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 whoops. Uh, you can go up here and you can put in what time frame at the top but another thing at the end you want the end to be the same as the beginning because if not it's not going to look right it's not going to loop correctly which mine zero zero it's not going to loop correctly because it's not going to be able to smooth out the end with the beginning so that's why you have to do that now if we were to play this maybe you can see how that looks. Uh, we have to make it loop. So I don't know exactly where this is. Uh, it should be somewhere, I think, animation looping. Yeah, see that little button right next to the clock? Just click that button and it will turn blue. If it's blue, it should loop. Now, if you look at that, you know that looks all right that looks all right it doesn't look the best but it does look all right and it got the point across again uh, I'm not gonna have this in the final animation but what you could do is you could click that to turn it off but if I add a track a property track and I add it to that and we could do something like um, rotation you know, and then ooh, how do I pause? I'm just gonna turn the looping off. Rotation degrees, and we head this back to like you know 0. 0.6. And then if I was to go to rotation, which if I was to click on this sprite, transform, turn the rotation a little bit. Like whoops, I click the that's a collision shape. If I was to go up to the tank main body. And then change the collision shape. I, I mean the rotation. We'll just do something like this. And then we keyframe that. Now if we were to play the animation, right? If we play the animation, well actually we have to set this back at zero. So we want the rotation degree to be zero at the beginning and we want it to be if I can put it at zero at the end. Now, if we were to play this as a looping, looping and play, you'll see it just rotate. And it does it in a smooth way instead of just automatically going to that point and then going automatically back. But that hopefully that does get the point across about the 
animation player. I'm going to remove the rotation degrees because I don't want the rotation degrees. But I'm just going to stick with that. Now, to play this animation, I'm just going to go into the tank script. Where can we put this yet? If being used. Okay, so if the tank is being used, which means the player is in the tank, then I want this animation to play. So I'm going to play at all times that the player is in. So first we want to get the animation player, which do money sign, type in animation player, and then we want to be able to play the animation. So dot play is going to allow us to play. We want to get the animation, which is tank idling, and that is it. So if we were to save, we were to test play, you can see no animation, right? But as soon as I enter the tank, animation. And the animation will go on forever because it is a looping animation until I get out of the tank, which I don't have getting out of the tank actually a thing yet. But you can see how this works. There's nothing because the little blue go dot is the player, which means he's not in the tank yet. If I was to enter the tank, as soon as the player enters the tank, you can see the you can see the tank start to move like that. So that is technically how you use the animation player in a pretty basic way, pretty simple way. But I do hope this helped. I'm going to delete this rotation degree because we don't need it. But other than that, thank you guys so, so, so much for watching. I hope you guys did enjoy. Let me leave that on looping. And whoops if you did enjoy thank you so 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 much and i cannot wait to see you in the next one remember to stay safe stay awesome any tutorial ideas or anything just drop them down below and i will get working on some tutorials thank you guys so much and i'll see you guys next time stay safe stay awesome and see you soon bye